Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. In the past few tutorials, we understood why we need to create or design websites, what actually a website is or what it is going to contain. And also we understood what is a web page. To create a well formatted web pages, we are going to use HTML. And we also know that HTML is developed by Tim Berners-Lee and uh, HTML is a language for uh, formatting web pages and HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language also we know that there is a standard set of specifications known as SGML referred to create markup languages now markup language consists of set of tags and we also know that HTML is evolved from SGML and then we understood what actually HTML pages or web documents are going to contain. We know that HTML pages or web documents are going to contain hypertext or hyperlinks which allow us to navigate from one page to another page or navigate in the same page. And uh, HTML pages are also going to have the actual information that we want to display on in the web browsers and also the control information. The control information are used uh, or is used by web browsers to control the format of actual information that is that is going to be displayed in the web pages. And uh, those control informations are of course tags. And uh, we know that the browsers are softwares which are going to interpret and display your HTML files. And uh, we also understood that. The there are two different types of tags that you find uh, paid tags and unpaid tags and we understood that uh, what is a opening tag how do we write an opening tag how do we write a closing tag how do we add attribute to tags how do we add attribute to paid tags how do we add and where do we add attribute to unpaid tags and uh, we understood why markup language, why HTML is a markup language because markup languages are tag based languages right and uh, in this tutorial we are going to get some more information about HTML if you are learning any language before learning the actual language itself you should understand what are the features of that language uh, here as we are learning HTML we need to understand features of HTML. First feature is HTML is a very simple and small language. It's a markup language. Markup language, we already understood that markup languages are going to contain set of tags or control information. Now, uh, HTML has very few set of tags and uh, each tag has a uh, few attributes and you people can very easily remember those tags. And out of those tags, we use very few tags and few attributes most commonly. So it is very easy to learn HTML to uh, and uh, use HTML to create web pages. Now HTML is a very powerful language for formatting web pages used by every website designer. So uh, it's a fundamental uh, part of web design, web design. So you have to know HTML very clearly. Then HTML is supported by multiple platforms. Of course, HTML is supported uh, by PC. Uh, you can um, like mobile, TV. So there are different platforms on which you can use uh, HTML because uh, uh, every platform that we have discussed now are having a set of browsers that you can use in them to display web pages. So HTML is supported by multiple browsers like. Uh, HTML is uh, executed or interpreted by uh, almost all the browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera, Chrome, uh, Netscape Navigator. So there are many different uh, browsers and all browsers can understand HTML and uh, display your HTML pages. HTML is a very flexible language and uh, you can very easily maintain HTML pages. You can add anything uh, new into your HTML pages. You can remove uh, some content from the HTML pages. You can uh, format the 
content very easily. So HTML is very very simple and easy to learn language I can say. Next thing we need to know what are the limitations of that language. What are the limitations of HTML? That uh, limitation means what HTML cannot be able to do. Uh, like HTML has limited designing capability. As we know that HTML is a formatting language. It is a, a language for formatting web pages. But uh, you cannot be able to create websites which are appealing. Uh, it is uh, uh, difficult or we cannot be able to create uh, websites which will be having uh, more look and feel. Uh, to create websites which are appealing or uh, to bring a look and feel in websites, we are going to use uh, CSS. CSS stands for cascading style sheets. So cascading style sheets are used to bring design aesthetics in your web pages or bring look and feel uh, according to target audience in your web pages. So that is the one limitation as we uh, know now that uh, um, HTML has uh, least or limited designing capability. And HTML has no programming capabilities also like uh, based on some condition uh, if you want to execute something, if you do not want to execute something uh, you cannot be able to do that. Um, so we cannot be able to create dynamic web pages as there is no programming capability. We cannot be able to create interactive web pages. If you want to create interactive web pages where user can uh, interact with your web pages at runtime, uh, that is not possible just by using HTML. So we need to take the help of some scripting languages like uh, we use JavaScript as a client side scripting language. Uh, using JavaScript, uh, you can be able to create dynamic web pages. You can uh, implement interactivity uh, in your websites or bring interactivity in your websites. Like uh, you can be able to validate uh, user inputs. You can be able to uh, give outputs to the user at runtime or when user is interacting with the web pages. Uh, so. Of course, we need to take the help of uh, some scripting languages. So JavaScript is a client-side scripting language. There are uh, different types of scripting languages we have. Uh, we are going to discuss about uh, cascading style sheets and uh, scripting languages in detail when we come to the CSS topic and uh, JavaScript uh, tutorials. So hope you guys have understood. Uh, what are the features of HTML and uh, what are the limitations of HTML? Uh, how do we solve those limitations or what we use to remove those uh, limitations? So when you combine HTML, CSS and JavaScript together, you can be able to create more appealing and interactive uh, websites. So in the next tutorial, we are going to uh, write some HTML code. We are going to create our own HTML pages and uh, start creating websites. So hope you guys will understand and uh, enjoy while learning. So for this tutorial, I think this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we understand more things. So thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing.